Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com with our update for Friday, March 22nd, 2019. Uh, got a lot to talk about coming up in just a second. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, man, it's a real cool way to give it a try, whether you want my picks or somebody else's over at the site. All you got to do to get a $60 free account is start off by clicking on the link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Again, you can use it on any of my daily picks. You can use it on anybody else's daily picks over at DocSports.com. Again, free $60 account. Give it a trial run. All you got to do is click on the link below the video. All right, got a lot to talk about. We're going to do it in a short time so you can get at it. First of all, uh, yesterday's card, we ended up going 2-2-2 two, two, and two with all six of our plays. Uh, it was kind of crazy right from the beginning of the big dance and a game that I wasn't even involved in. I didn't have side. I didn't have total. Uh, LSU and Yale had a couple of people who uh, were listening to me on uh, Mad Dog Radio and some of the other shows that I did over the last couple of days who tweeted in and told me that they liked LSU. Listen, I, I kind of agreed with it. I didn't. I, I definitely wasn't against them, uh, but I did not have a play on them. But I was rooting for the guys who were on them, man. Guys who took time to tweet and tell me who they liked, and they should have won. It was right side, wrong result. So a game that we didn't even get involved with, we saw right away where, you know, you had an LSU team that did everything right down the stretch, man. They're going to the free throw line in the closing minutes. They're making their free throws. They're not turning the basketball over. It was a case where Yale, who didn't shoot well, Three-pointers overall for the game did make a, a few of them, a handful of them, in the final minute or so. And because of that, they lose the game outright, but they cover the spread. So, listen, if you had Yale, congrats, cash that ticket. If you had LSU, it was a case where it was right side, wrong result. Again, we had no uh, dog in the battle, so to speak. We weren't on either team. We weren't on either total in that one. But, you know, just weird results going 2-2-2 two, two, and two overall. The cool thing was, even though we lost money in college basketball yesterday, which was obviously a real drag to the bankroll. But as far as NBA and NHL, we cashed in both again. Uh, we had Montreal in the NHL, and they shut out their opponent, the Islanders, 4 nothing. NBA has been red hot. We're now 9-1 and one over the last nine days. 9-1, nine and one, 90%, up over $3,000 for $100 per unit betters as we go into Friday. And here's what's going on on Friday. In the NBA, I've got a big six-unit play. It's our top play on Friday, no matter what the sport NBA six-unit play on Friday. We look to go to 10-1 and one with our last 11 plays. We'll go up over uh, $3,600 for $100 per unit betters. As far as college basketball is concerned, I've got a three-play trifecta. Now, trifecta, obviously, just a horse racing term, but uh, three sides make up this three-play package on Friday. We really do like it. The lead play is a five-unit play on Friday, and these three-play trifectas in the big dance are on a 17-9-1 spread run the last 27. This is the first of this big dance season going on Friday, and we'll look to go 3-0, and get back in the win column after losing a little bit of money yesterday in college basketball. Again, the lead play on Friday, the NBA six-unit play, three plays in college basketball on Friday, all available in the same report, and we look to go 3-0 and there. NHL, as far as that's concerned, uh, just a couple of the games going on Friday. We're going to uh, pass the abbreviated card, and we'll get back into ice action on Saturday. A couple more things to talk about because people keep asking me when they DM me on uh, social media, on Twitter, about UFC and about NASCAR, the so-called peripheral sports. We've done quite well with these. Uh, UFC, we've been at Docs now for 11 months. Our fight picks are now 15 and 8, up over $3,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit. We will have our UFC card on Saturday. We're going to post that early Saturday morning. They'll be up by 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Excuse me, 11 a.m. Eastern. 8 a.m. Pacific on Saturday for Saturday's card. As far as NASCAR is concerned, you've been asking about that again. We've released two races where we've had two win picks. We've won both. Phoenix two weeks ago, last week Fontana. They're at Martinsville this week. The race we're involved in goes on Sunday. We'll have those picks for you about midnight Eastern time, late Saturday night, about 9 p.m. Pacific time out here on the West Coast if you're interested in those NASCAR picks. Already up eight units in just two races with our two win picks. $100 better up $800 already in two races. Uh, don't miss out on that. So that's basically the weekend in a nutshell. Of course, Saturday and Sunday's college basketball big dance games will be posted by 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on both Saturday and Sunday. You'll be able to grab those picks. But again, for Friday, three-play trifecta college basketball. If we sweep, we go to 20 wins, nine losses, one push in big dance action with those packages. As far as the NBA, again, go make it 10-1 and one with our last 11 
with the six-unit play on Friday. Again, both packages available early, Friday morning, DocSports.com. And if you uh, use that $60 free account, there you get them both. You get $30 for the three-play trifecta college. You get the NBA six-unit for $30, and you got them for free. It's as simple as that. All right, let's get to uh, an opinion. Again, the premium picks are all at DocSports.com. Uh, the opinion we put on here for Friday in college basketball is Virginia Tech minus the points. We're going to lay the spot with Virginia Tech. We really feel they come out and win this game by about 16 to 18 points. Uh, we do think that the Hokies and the Blue Devils are going to clash again uh, in their region in the East in a couple of games, and we'd like them to get by this first-round opponent uh, rather handily and get about a 16- to 18-point win. So an opinion on Virginia Tech, the big plays, those premium plays available at DocSports.com each and every day of the week. Don't miss out on Friday's card. All right, I'm Scott Spritzer. Let's put Friday in the win column. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs-up button. Be sure to subscribe. Be right back here Saturday morning by 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific with our next update. We'll talk to you then.